Hey everyone! Today I am going to attempt another craft word video. I have been itching for some new earrings and I have a lot of jewelry supplies. I was shopping recently and I saw a really cute pair of ear jackets. Um, if you don't know what those are, it's just like uh, a stud, but then it has a part that you slip onto the back of the post, like behind your ear, before you put the little end cap thing on. So then it looks like there's something hanging from the back too. And I think that they're very cute. Obviously for me, it's a little different because I had to put them into my second hole because <laughs> these are stretched, so I can't put regular earrings in them. But I thought I would try to make some anyway because I think they're super cute. So yeah. Today, I'm going to attempt to craft hoard some ear jackets. So, let's see what I have. Okay, like always, I'm going to be going into my craft jewelry drawer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I need some kind of earring post. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I have earring posts. Oh, you know what? I've seen people where they use these. Um, crimps, so I'll probably use those. If I have silver ones, that would be better because I think my earring posts are silver. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Where are my earring posts? Ha ha, see, found them. I knew I had some. Um, the only bad part is that I don't have ends. I thought that these came with ends. That's kind of dumb. Oh well. Ah, I have silver ones. Oh, found silver crimpy things. So there we go. I probably still want wire, just in case, like just to show a different version that you can do. So I think I'm just gonna look for some decorative things in here um, for the earring post. I don't really know what is in here, but yeah. So I did end up finding these guys, the uh, earring backs. I found earring posts, earring backs, end cap crimp beads, thin wire, various beads, various flat back gems, buttons, faux leather, glue, and needle nose pliers. Phew, all right. That's a lot of stuff. I kind of just grabbed things that I felt like I could use and I ended up making three different types of earrings. So here we go. For this first pair, I thought that I'd make some nice and sparkly looking ones with some flat back gems. I dug through an assorted bag of faux gems and grabbed circles, which I ultimately didn't use, some teardrops, and some marquise gems. I glued some teardrop shaped gems onto the posts and then set them aside. Then I took two end crimp bead things and flattened them out. I placed a few gems to make a nice pattern to see how they would fit on the flattened crimp bead. And then I cut the corners off of the crimp bead that would stick out after I glued the gems down. So then I glued the gems down. Now, you can see in the video that I used super glue to do this, but I would recommend using something else like E6000 or something like that because super glue reacts to the backing on the gems and it makes them look cloudy. You'll see in a sec. Or right now, <laughs> because here they are. Done. You can see the cloudiness that I was talking about. Anyway, to wear them, you put the posts in, then slide the crimp bead onto the back and then put the earring end on to secure it all. And there we go. So obviously my ears aren't ideal for this style of earring jacket because my tunnels take up so much space, but whatever. Maybe one day if or when I decide to take my tunnels out and they shrink back down to normal size, then I can wear this earring jacket style. So on to the next. I was digging through my buttons and I found these cute rose buttons that I wanted to use for the posts. And then I also found this faux leather that I thought I could use to make the leaves for the back part of the earrings. So on these rose buttons, they had the loop on the back to make it into a button, but I needed to flatten them out to attach them onto a post. 
Unfortunately, they couldn't just be clipped off because of the way that they were molded, so I had to use a file to file the loops down. Then I cut some leaf shapes from the faux leather. If you're doing an asymmetrical design, like say I did one small leaf and one big leaf, then you should mirror that design for the other side. The backing of my faux leather was this white, like fabric-y, fluffy stuff, so I painted the backs with some puffy paint. I also went back and marked the edges with a black marker, just to make everything look finished. I glued my buttons onto the post. In this instance, super glue worked perfectly fine. I glued the leaves onto some flattened crimp beads, again using super glue. And here they are. Now, these ones definitely don't look right on my ears because they're so big, but whatever. And now for the final earrings. I wanted some simple studs for the post, and I ended up finding these brads that I got a long time ago, and I thought that they'd be perfect. I just cut the backs off and bent the remaining metal down, and then used A6000 to glue them to the posts. And then I set them aside while they cured. I wanted to work with beads on this one, so I cut off a length of some thin wire, thin enough to go through small glass beads twice, and I threaded on a glass bead into the middle. I folded the wire around the bead to join the two ends together, and then threaded one of these longer glass beads through both wires. I split the wires, and then on one side, I threaded a long bead, and then the small glass bead, and then I threaded the end of the wire back through the long bead and pulled it tight like so. I repeated this on the other side. Then I decided to do this one more time on each side again, so in the end, there were five spoke things. I joined the ends of the wire up again, twisting them together, but not too tight because you still want the beads to fan out nicely. And then I looped the wire and twisted it around to secure it. I repeated this again for the other side, and these ones were done. I have to say, these ones are my favorites. Maybe that's because they're the ones that look the best on my ears. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can buy my art prints at Society6 and in print. The link to those will be down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron or learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next week.